What's going on everyone? KJ here. Let's get right into a triple chapter review where I discuss the chapters 925, 926, and 927 of One Piece. I first off, well first off, I do want to apologize for being late with these chapter reviews. Um, just been busy with some uh, IRL stuff and also I actually recently organized my first Beyblade tournament. So just pretty busy, but now that that's over with, I can get back to, you know, kidding them. Maybe not, I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm always going to be able to get them out on time, but I'll try to get them within a few days of their release or maybe a week after, which is all right in my book. It's still getting out, which is, which is the, like, the most important thing. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's get right into the first uh, review. So starting off, we have uh, chapter 925 titled The Blank. So this chapter was really good. I didn't expect to see Perona and Mihawk again. It was just great to see them too. It's great to see those two. Uh, seeing that Gecko Moria was still alive was also good to know, and I'm also intrigued in the reverie topic that Mihawk brought up. We also got to see Blackbeard and his crew again, which was awesome, and Shiryu now has Absalom's Delfruit, which is crazy, but it does fit for the way he fights. Katarina and Devin also had a really interesting Delfruit as well, basically a nine-tailed fox in mythical zoning. Uh, never expected something like that to be in One Piece. I also wonder if Moria will join Blackbeard, as he'll probably get killed if he doesn't. We also got Blackbeard's, uh, like, basically Blackbeard's bounty was revealed, 2,247,600,000 berries, like, and that's, that's just crazy, that's, wow. We also heard from Blackbeard that Sabo and his group fought Fujitora and Ryo Kugyu, as well as Big Mom and her crew are headed to Wano, so I'm looking forward to seeing where both of these storylines go from here. And while it was short, I liked Shujimaru and Inuyashi's little fight, and I also wonder what it'll take for the crew to make him their ally. We also heard that Ryza's gonna help Luffy break out of the prison, and I'm looking forward to that. And I also really enjoyed seeing more of Kato's subordinates. Uh, we were introduced to King and Queen. Both of them look really crazy, and seeing both of them bully Jack was a shock. And I'm also looking forward to seeing their powers. Rating wise, I gave this one a 5 out of 5. Just a really awesome chapter. So many great things uh, shown. Moving on, we have chapter 926 titled The Prisoner Mind. Another great chapter. It was cool seeing the crew spread the secret message around. I'm also intrigued by the two characters you saw at the beginning of the chapter, Kamazo the Manslayer and the Witching Hour Boy. While they were discovered, which was funny by the way, it was cool that Nami and Shinobu got important info. It was also cool seeing Sanji in action, and I wonder who that shadowy figure is. In the prison, it was funny seeing Luffy and Kid compete to finish, uh, finish their work, even with the limitations to their powers. Um, I also thought the hippo smile user was really interesting, because he had basically had he basically had a regular human body, but then he had a hippo basically on top of that. It was just like crazy, I don't know. Some of these smile users are just getting like so creative. Um, but he just got bodied by Luffy and Kid, which is, uh, like, dang. But, um, uh, rating-wise, I gave this one a 4 out of 5. And last but not least, we have chapter 927, titled Otoko the Kamuro. So, this chapter was really, uh, cool. Seeing Sanji and Frankie take down some of Ko uh, Kyoshiro's thugs was nice, especially Frankie, as we haven't seen him fight in a long time. We also met a child named Otoko. It's cool that she's involved with the very popular Komorosaki. And it's crazy that this Komorosaki person made people go unconscious basically because of beauty, if I remember correctly, which is, like, wow. Um, Kyoshiro also plans on asking Queen to send assassins after Sanji because of what happened, so I'm interested in seeing if Sanji will be able to handle them. We also finally got somewhat of a reveal for Wano Shogun, a.k.a. Orochi. He appears to be some sort of multi-headed dragon or serpent or hydra or whatever, so I'm interested in what powers he has, if this is maybe a smile, uh, devil fruit, or a myth, or a mythical zoan, or just something something else, I don't even know, but yeah, I'm interested in just seeing uh, more from him, as well as what he has in store for Kumurasaki as well, but reading wise, I gave this chapter a 4.5 out of 5, but that's pretty much it for this video, let me know your thoughts on all three of these chapters in the comments down below, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to hit the notification bell, so you're notified of all my uploads, but until next time, I'll see y'all later.